Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to do lab 4 Disc brake, inspection, removal and refitting First and foremost We are going to jack the car up So that we can remove the tires from the car After we jack the car up We are going to put stand On both sides Left and right of the car to maintain the car upwards and then after that we can safely remove the jack here we are going to remove the tires after the tire is removed we are going to position the tire beneath the vehicle just in case if the stand does not work and the car come tumbling down next we are going to remove the brake calipers so first and foremost, we are going to open the brake calipers and remove the brake pad from the brake caliper. Here is a general overview of the brake caliper. Next, we are going to remove the brake pad from the brake caliper. Along with the brake calipers, we also remove the clip that attach the brake pad to the brake calipers. We are going to remove the upward parts of the brake caliper. Here, he is removing the brake caliper from the brake line hose. We can see there is the piston and also the o-ring in the brake caliper. Afterwards, we are going to further remove the brake caliper from the disc rotor. To remove the piston, we are going to use an air gun to blow air inside the brake caliper to force the piston to come out. The following is the components of the disc brake that we have extracted, we have reassembled from the brake system. We are going to determine the flatness of the disc roto by applying chalk on the disc roto. Then we are going to rub the brake pad along the disc roto to see how much of brake effect is applying to the brake pad. Then we are going to measure the thickness of the brake pad that is left from the disc brake system here we are going to measure the flatness of the disc rotor by using a special gauge this special gauge need extra attention and also precision to operate it so that the value of the flatness of the disc rotor can be determined. Then we are going to measure the thickness of the disc rotor by marking four points on the disc rotor and take the measurement on each four points that we have marked. Each measurements are going to have different value for each marking does not have the same diameter as the other marking. We are going to roll over the screw that attach the brake caliper on a flat surface to determine its smoothness. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Today, I will going to present a lab 4 which is a disc brake. This is our group member, Akmal Hakim, Ayman Nashri, Muhammad Anas, Ahmad Faidi, Muhammad Fernanda and Muhammad Hari. Let's Okay, this is uh, the net we need to name the part they're given. The first one is a lock pin.
The second one is lock pin. The third one is blade screw. Number four is mounting bracket. Number five is pin boot. Number six is boot ring. Number seven piston boot. Number eight piston. Number nine piston seal. Number ten is cylinder body. Number eleven is pad. Number twelve is shim. Thirteen is caliper and fourteen is back clip. Back clip. Okay, next. Okay, so for the condition of this brake parts, the part name uh, <coughs> is a wear indicator. Wear indicator, uh, if we look at the picture, uh, is uh, in a good condition. So for the disc brake surface, uh, it's a little bit rusty. Uh, outboard brake shoe, uh, or another name is pad. The condition is rusty and the thickness of the brake shoe is 6.93 mm. Okay, so uh, inboard brake shoe, uh, so sorry, for the pistons, uh, is in a good, good condition and for the cylinder ball, it's not too tone and in a good shape. Okay, for the inspection and the test we're going to do is run out uh, measurement and we have positive value of the uh, have bump and negative value if it doesn't bump and next is the this thickness measurement we have to we have to measure six times and the first measurement is 10.58 millimeter the second measurement 10.96 Third, 10.18, fourth, 10.31, the fifth, 11.19, and the sixth, 10.55. Next. And we're going to do the rub test. The condition, we found a rotate in full contact. You can see in the picture. And the last test is guide pin or lock pin straightness. We found that the flat, which means in good condition. So next for the question of the lab four, our first question is based on your finding, what is the condition of brake pad? Uh, should it, it be replaced with the new pad? Uh, the answer is when we do the observation about the brake pad. The brake pad for outboard and inboard are rusty that may cause serious problem for the longevity of braking system part. Uh, we should be replaced with new part to avoid loss at the integrity and clearance in vehicle, especially our safety. Uh, so next, for the second question, uh, list two causes for the rotor thickness are uh, very, very urgent. What is the correct repair procedure of the thickness variation? Uh, so the answer is two cause for the rot uh, rotor thickness variation. Our uh, first uneven uh, wear to break rotor. Second, this shape automatic part that uh squeeze between brake part to slow or stop a vehicle wheel. Uh, the right way to repair of thickness variation. Uh, first should be replaced or machine with a light beam to clean up any thickness variation that spot. So the second caliper should be overhauled. The third side pin must move freely. The fourth, the piston seal must be checked for good condition or replaced. So the third question, what do you understand about run out measurement data? The answer is Run out measurement is to determine if the disc have issue or have incorrectly installed in vehicle. We need to use attach dial indicator by loosening the clamp screw and tighten it to a point that the indicator can move freely. The next, make sure the red handle point directly in line with the base of flexible mount. 
make sure the tip of indicator is screw in all the way or else vibration will occur during the reading. So then rotate the direction that the dial indicator tip is pointing. Next, watch the needle for the lowest and highest number reach during out one revolution. The run out number will be the difference between numbers. So for the fourth question, what is your finding for the guide pin or lock pin straightness check? What can happen to your deck? Uh, this brake system is guide pin or lock pin is not straight. So the answer is over. Observation for the guide guide or lock pin straightness check. We find out the guide and lock pin in a good condition, which is guide uh, rotates perfectly in a flat surface. The lock pin must be straight to avoid the problem in brake system. If the lock pin is not straight in the this brake system, then it will will experience noises or problem stopping. The brake will stick or grab when driving, or it will hear a grinding noise if the caliper are not meeting the rotor at the proper angle. So next conclusion. So in a condition, the brake system is very important in every vehicle on the road. It need to have in every single vehicle to make sure the brake system is function, functioning to stop or slow down the vehicle. From the experiment, we do, we understand how the brake packs work, especially we inspect the condition of this brake assembly. Then we name all parts of this brake assembly. The brake disc is an important an important component of the brake system if the brake system is to able to decrease the vehicle in safety and comfort at all times bringing it to complete stop if necessary the brake disc must combine with the brake pads to generate a brake torque a brake or a brake force all right thank you